like I wish you remember saying that Tino Bishop live a bar, mere homage, and a kebab, which is for quash for quash youngsters with your team of Bishamako by the black and young. And now, what's here? West Nile TV, Shano Matung Tung, what's here? Kenny Chipino, YouTube, social media platforms, Matung Tung, and K, Nyingati, Uncle Ram, Uncle of All Nations. I watched in your life, my name, but him live West Nile TV. In the Ningata, fans of the black and yellow, Tia Kadiri, Shaweku, Pay the Paka Beer, Gibini Pakwa. This week, my. Black Angel, Matogamit. This season, what work, what work? What made work boy? Bleak man, this season man to tum. What work? Let me know what you do. If you watch any fans, they give me money. Why you pay? Why you pay? Let me move to see Maratu pay. What we can pay? Point more what you do. Good work. If I do that, I don't do that. I love West Nile TV. My bad. What you allowed? Do we love you? Carry piri party. Do you want to watch? Do you want to watch? One of the good boom. Can I get a little bit of pay? West Nile TV. Allowed. 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 What for? What do you do? Well, like I told you, we are back again, of course. It is a West Nile TV that is on for you. Uh, actually, we are on different social media platforms. Uh, you can stream anytime and watch West Nile TV live. Of course, we are the reason why the region is so light up. That's why we call it a West Nile TV lighting up the region. Chalma Westiri Kawani Wati Pakwat, NK Mopera Matek Makwete Kintim Paida Black Angels, Karashiala Kutimi Paida, Kutimi Pakwat Youngsters, Wanana Matek Fan Matek Makwe, Patimi Paida Black Angels, Fan, Ningi Tinga. Ninga Scholar Tune, I at your fan, my deed, Papi Paida Black Angel, Ashaka Shaka Paida Black Angel, and Angati and Yanok. So, as a me, I'm a two way no go and I'm a me to a go if a quash young star, they give me zero. So, big up to fans, check it, check a movie, no movie, no go check it. Okay, scholar tune, a four year kawash.
Good afternoon viewers, you are live at Pakwati District where there is a very big encounter between the team Pakwati Youngsters and the team Paida Black Ends. It's a very big encounter between the two sides because if you look at the two sides, right now the team which is leading the table is the team Paida Black Angels with something of around 41 points followed by the team they are playing today, Pakwati Youngsters. They have something of around 40 points but the team Pakwati Youngsters, they have played a game ahead of the team Paida Black Angels with Paida Black Angels having a game at hand up against the team of Zeusendo. It's top of the table class between the two sides and it's one of the big games whereby this might be the determinant game to see which team is going to finish on top at the end of the season. I am together with my sister Darcy Susie who is having statistics, some statistics about this particular encounter. Let's get to hear from her. Uh, thank you so much. We are coming to you right from Papuachi District. Uh, there is a hard ground right here. Can hear the noise. We are coming to you live. Uh, of course, bringing to you the game between uh, there is a five, the Black Angels, and of course, at the biggest rivals, there is a Papuachi uh, youngsters. We are in the home of Papuachi youngsters, where they are as our host team, and uh, five, the Black Angels is of course uh, the visiting uh, team. I'm now first round. Uh, so, of course, a uh, Papuachi youngster struggle to uh, there is a Barukuru uh, to play, there is a Paisa Black Angels. And uh, this is second round of a regional league, Nyagaki Zone, where, of course, uh, Papuachi youngsters get to host, uh, there is a Paisa Black Angels back home at uh, Omach. And uh, in the previous start, na Pakwachi youngsters uh, played, of course, a 0 0 with the uh, Nebi Central, and then uh, they uh, beat Arua City, a uh, one, a uh, five goals to one, and then uh, by the United. And then uh, they also uh, won uh, a very Super Eagles, a lot of games. And then uh, their biggest, uh, of course, uh, their MVP, uh, there is, uh, is uh, Jackie Sir Joseph, uh, commonly called as uh, Neymar. He missed three games and then uh, has uh, 12, uh, there is Jackie Sir Joseph who also has uh, 12 goals uh, to his names and 10 assists in there. And then uh, in the pattern of uh, uh, Hot Spurs, they beat them and then maybe Central, they won on penalties and then he, uh, this is now a roundup of uh, how uh, their journey has been in uh, there is a uh, uganda cup they are heading in uh, for our uh, of course uh, the semi-finals uh, in there and then uh, head to head with of course uh, by the black angels in season 2021-2022 we saw them play at baruku where by the black angels beat them two goals to zero and then in the return match at saint mary's uh bar or match exactly where we are they played the zero zero and then season 2022-2023 we saw at Barukuru, a uh, the Black Angels are uh, beating them two goals to zero. And then on the return leg at a match right here where we are, they played a 1-1. And then season 2023 at uh, 2024, at Barukuru, they played a 0-0 by the Black Angels. With uh, there is a uh, Pakwachi Youngsters played a 0-0. Now here we are. So uh, there is uh, the return leg right at a match. The predictions, of course, and the scores will come in the 90 minutes. Maybe Benson has something to say. Yes, the home team, Pakwachi Youngsters, they were promoted into West Nile Regional League, Nyagaki Zone, where back in 2018, up to now, they have not gone into the relegation zone. Meanwhile, the team by the Black Angels, this is a team that has ever played in one of the top tiers of Ugandan football. They have ever played in Star Times Uganda Premier League. They played in the FUFA Big League. Right now, they are playing in West Nile Regional League called Nyagaki Zone. As you had said earlier on, they are leading the log. And last season, we saw the team, Pakwachi Youngsters, finishing as the runners-up. And everyone is waiting to see if this one will be their chance. They have never played in FUFA Big League before and uh, Susie talked about uh, how they are performing in Stanbeck Uganda Cup. They are the only representative from West Nile region currently performing very well. They have already proceeded to the quarterfinals whereby they will be battling it out with a team called Pajule Lions. But the focus turns for today's game. Looking at the jerseys, these two teams will be down in for the away team by the Black Angels. They are putting on a black stripped with white black and, and white. having white shorts. Meanwhile, for the home team, Pakwati Youngsters, they are putting red as top and with black shorts. We'll be coming back with the first half analysis unless you have one or two things you want to put. Otherwise, um, the game is very I want to do a very brief analysis on this game. It's basically going to be a very tough one. It's going to be a tight one. And uh, we, of course, are ushering you into the pitch where, of course, we are going to watch the first 45 minutes of the game at a very big clash of two turns. It's a a clash between a uh, position number one in Yagaki zone and position number two. There is a uh, the Black Angels facing a uh, Pakwach youngsters at St. Mary's or March right there in Pakwach. Okay, we'll be back for first half analysis.
Straight away, welcome to the biggest, uh, biggest game of the day right here at uh, Pakwach or Match Grounds where you're going to be seeing a lot of things happen uh, probably over the two teams, uh, Pakwachi youngsters uh, taking on uh, Pai the Black Angels uh, right here and we're already getting that live from West Nile Television. Uh, Owen Ezaga is uh, my name alongside of course uh, uh, the man himself. Uh, uh, Uncle Ram, welcome and uh, already the two sides are in the pitch as you can see uh, they're taking the advices from uh, that is the coaches have, I mean the referees are from the coaches the two sides are right there donning on the shot of course uh, white and red uh, uh, respectively that means that uh, red uh, black stripped uh, is uh, the team the home team of Pakwachi youngsters and you are part, part of the black angels uh, that is putting on the white and uh, black white stripped right here at Omachi grounds a tough game a decider clash of the titans right here welcome uncle ram how are you I'm well well thank you love the owen and uh, of course uh, here is the ground we're calling it uh, omat stadium in pokwacha like you said it before it is uh, the toughest encounter of the season witnessing pokwach youngsters the home side who is right here welcoming the pba side in the backyard and of course this ground has been one of the toughest ground to pick anything like a win in but of course it is football let's wait and see what happens like you said my name is uncle ram exactly 4 p.m will be the kickoff time right here and Westnell tv gets you covered wherever you should be it's a big encounter right here as any team that wins right here takes of course this lot of being uh, the top in there remember the team that will be representing will be uh, taking you through to what is called the uh, playoffs uh, that will be coming soon and a lot a lot is being said about the two teams remember it has been uh, one of the interesting games and today's match assessor is the man in the suits he's called Ayub Kamis the match commissioner at the same time the match officials remember and I can tell you the newly ball that has been given to that is all produced by uganda is one of the match balls that will be used i'm talking about the sakayo ball made by the Janzi right here fufa deliver that to every other team even in the fourth division right there but before we get that let's get the lineups of the two teams a straight going into the lineups of the two teams starting it off with the home side let's go straight in the goal yard of Pakwat youngsters of course it is their number one custodian jackie ronald and of course, uh, in the defensive line, there is a watch guild in his uh, oh, you know Alex, uh, Jack is a uh, god in, uh, and of course, uh, Jack is a uh, Eric. Uh, remember, Rotomil Parity is the man lining up in the center of the pitch, and of course, Odong Alphonse is partnering him, and not forgetting uh, Onen Vivian, the captain of the team, shot number 66 is in the center of the park, and of course, uh, on the wing side, uh, there is a uh, none other than. Uh, that is uh, Ochanda Eric and not forgetting Yopa Mongo Gila and of course uh, the man leading the center of the pitch it is none other than uh, Mongo Jackie uh, Yosef in the substitute line of Pukwach there is a uh, Mongo 
makuo Stephen Mongo Jackson Alan Onen Rush Dennis Okirot Innocent Okumo Victor and Oket Wengo Brian while in the lineup side of a home team by the Black Angels is none other than none number one custodian Tomusime Mugicha not forgetting Odongo Gabriel in the back and of course Yo Achel Raymond the captain of the team by the Black Angels well-known footballer the oldest player of team by the black angels who has been with them quite a long time none other than odagyu Ka odagyu kalidi of course being a team up with opio william and not forgetting odongo charles in that is odongo chris not forgetting opak ruot benjamin and of course obedmo david in the wing side there is an innocent bosco joel jangembe and of course opar Jacob on the other side. Exactly now, an interesting game that probably could be coming up right there. And the two sides are ready in the pitch, a pitch for you uh, to see who exactly will be taking this. Uh, it is a tough one. Remember, the first leg was also another tough encounter uh, for that is the two teams. Uh, we are waiting to see who is going to be uh, taking this offer because uh, the game seems to be a tight one and that will be running right here. But of course, uh, the fans are already showing excitement. Uh, they are only waiting uh, for that is uh, the game and only our two minutes let's say one and a half minutes that's what they're waiting for uh, by the center referee to see that the games kick off uh, and the two sides are right there at exactly at exactly 4 p.m we shall be kicking off right there we are counting down seconds we're counting down seconds already we're counting down seconds and that's what we're expecting As he said, we're counting down seconds to kick off the game. But before we go proper in the game, remember, I'm taking you back in the days. Season 2021-2022, it was in the same ground where we saw the game ending into a draw. And that draw was capital of a zero, actually it was a zero-zero game. And of course, a season 2022-2023, same ground here, it ended one all, meaning this ground in between by the Black Angels and Bakwa Youngsters, it's always ended in a stalemate. Let's wait and see what the referee is going to say any second soon. Like I said, love the, of course, finally, the referee says, let's move on and come on. Come on here at Omach. It is by the Black trying to pressure in here. Of course, Yo Ashel Raymond, Ayo. On the ball of play the black angel can he cross no way Raka on the ball moving it swiftly so so well in there picked back by a yo but of course pokwash getting back their position on here it is still pokwash youngster setting on the wing Raka missing it out of course throwing the throw in already there for that is the team and the first time of course the coach was fired or sent away and the fans brought issues is back into the team for Pakwat uh, mid for Paita United uh, by the Black Angels none other than Hassan that is the coach my brother is talking about <laughs> well game is continuing a pressure in there but of course uh, well served and corner kick first corner kick yeah, if you look at uh, the delivery, it has been one of the best things that you talk about. Uh, interestingly, uh, the teams have been uh, in a position to say that uh, they want to get the best. But uh, Pakwachi getting that first corner of uh, the day. And it's only one minute gone. Uh, probably a lot of things that will be coming in there. And uh, the shot number 10 uh, goes in for the delivery. Let's wait and see what exactly that will be like uh, uh, for the team. But uh, it is interesting that the two teams uh, will be getting uh, to the delivery. Corner kick here. Set is taken a straight and it goes a wide away for says a foul. Again, it's the Pakwachi youngsters by the Paida Black Angels now. It's a set piece, which is going to be a free kick for team Paida Black Angels. Shalom, I wish you a best you better free kick for team Paida Black Angels. Nina, Mupira Minute live West Night TV channel. My tongue to Bishop in West Night TV here. And can not with a comment box with here. Owen, Karashello, Uncle Ram, Nina, what Teddy Packer Wang, Mataka Pirabung and Kuyadar. Referee calls off, and if you're wondering what exactly the ball is like, let's wait and see what exactly the referee says. Hey, 
it is a decision that probably will be coming right here but of course i love the crowd i love uh, it it's interesting let's wait and see referee calls in for the ball and we will be waiting to see what exactly this means to a team like Pakwatch youngsters who are at home and Paida who are also another team to talk about PBA remember the Viva in the Uganda Premier League uh, that right now is called the Star Times Uganda Premier League but couldn't of course stay for quite a long time a delivery or a penetration through to the FUFA Big League the second half of the Ugandan football would mean that uh, they are so close to the Star Times Uganda Premier League like you said uh, of course a uh, team Pogwaj youngsters has never been in it in there playing uh, in what we call the first tire in Ugandan football and they're just trying so hard to make it the other line too but of course before crossing there they have to first go into what we call the playoffs then from there maybe they can make it to the big league of course a team that is always uh, right there they want to go into that is called uh, the Uganda Premier League a foul right there <laughs> See tension, see tension, uh, <laughs> and the referee says uh, that is it. But I, uh, man, players, <laughs> you know, players will never accept reality, and that is where I believe heaven door might be hard for some of the players. Why? <laughs> Looking like a foul, some player will not accept it's a foul, and if it's not a foul, players will always tend to fake. True that. So I, I, I look at players at times. I but of course, interestingly, that is what is coming right there from uh, the home ground of. Uh, Pakwachi youngsters, the PYS, and that is what exactly we're talking about. A very good team, of course, that needs uh, to put in uh, a lot of uh, participation. Just referee trying to tell them, guys, let's calm down. This is what we're supposed to do. This is how we're supposed to run the game, and uh, we need to be calm. Very many, for the Congolese, they call it what? Calm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how my brother's trying to do something gala in here along with French. Free kick for youngsters. It is let us see how the delivery will be shot number eighty. That is the messy guy. And um, uh, that shot number eight. Oh, it's a Viedo. Good save by the goalkeeper. Very good delivery. Now played attacking, and of course picked away by Pakwachi youngsters. They're trying to see delivery. Referee says go on. Pakwachi turning and twisting. Turns again. Try to get into the 18 year box. Makes a delivery. Right in chance! The school for Pakwachi! What a goal! Offside! Right flag. behind the referee! Offside! It's an offside! The linesman calls for an offside! Probably in the fourth minute you would be seeing that goal at the back of the net for Team Pakwachi youngsters. The home team and captain comes to him says what exactly is this did you see a free header oh my goodness <laughs> uh, Lovdi, like you said earlier on this game is going to be one of the game to watch and if you're back home just relax and put on your seat belt a little tighter because west Nile tv is here for you and everything is going to come on your desk at your door remember it was the goal but of course liner say you guy you are shitting me <laughs> it is an offside all right let's wait and see what exactly that will be but of course the delivery here by the uh, the defender takes a long trying to find in there again Pokwachi with the ball and referee says it's a foul referee says it's a foul and he is the commanding in charge Oh, and we have to admit the first five minutes it is going in favor of the home side that is the red team Pukwat youngsters it's a very tough game we waited to see how decisions will be made delivery right there once again and referee says a foul against the Paida uh, player there he goes and shows a yellow card first yellow card of the day goes to shot number 11 for team Pakwachi youngsters look at that and he calls for the medical team captain comes into rescue says don't talk to the referee let me be the man i am in charge of the game and the referee is there shot number 11 wants to quarrel mungu jakisa joseph that talisman of course are picking himself a yellow card i think was it a knock using an arm <laughs> an elbow <laughs> of course that was a very <laughs> big one uh, right there but of course interestingly i've loved the command of uh, the referee in uh, right there it was a foul uh, you did see the first foul that was so he walked on a uh, very well tried maintaining it and indeed things went his way now right now as we talk he is trying to uh this is a tense game and he's trying to balance the uh tense intensity of the game so it's so so interesting to see what exactly he can put right there but i love 
the energy the fans are already showing the energy is really boiling here and of course at the player who was fouled he's a former player of Okwacha Super Eagle many calls him Dante and of course fouled by one player many calls Neymar but his real name is Joseph still PPA referee free was kick. another free kick he awards it yes it was a foul of course you can't say anything but a foul against Pakwachi youngsters again what can he do he calls for the medical team uh, lovely uh, from the look of things uh, this game is full of whistle this game is full of tension of we are just in the six minutes of the game what do you think will happen up a to 90 minutes a game of high intensity always that's what you will be expecting uh, because uh, this is a game that needs uh, really a command in the center and he is the man in charge is saying no way guys this is what we're supposed to do and i am telling you that i am in charge of this game so give me time give me time to concentrate that's the referee i've loved him he's doing well love this says he loves the referee and me i'll tell you of course for those who did not know yesterday there was another tough encounter in arua where the city boys happened to run easy against Pakwata super eagles who are fighting relegation in there of course are winning by a gold nail exactly and also the team <laughs> navy central who thought maybe they will be cementing position three lost at their back yet at low grounds in the hands of another relegated threatened team in Pajobi. And today there is a fight at Nyaravur where one team in Nyahama who is welcoming Pajita United, another relegation team in Nyahama. This is Johnny Jagayembe. He played for Black Power on Duparaka Calvary Football Club. He is putting on or turning on shot number 28, going for the set piece. He's very good on that. Couple of times you've seen him deliver. Can he do that for his team right here by the Black Angels? And yet he stays in uh, that is the home ground of uh, Nebi. That's where the Nebi town uh, is where he stays. But for today, he is doing our uh, playing his trade for the Paida Black Angels side right here. A lot of players from Nebi Central to Paida Black Angels, and they are doing well. Uh, what exactly are we expecting? There's still someone down nursing treatment and joel jagayembe waits for that uh, before he makes a delivery right uh, into the box Awashiri ngaini mpira mente live West Night TV channel matong tong and keka poringe ungo mpira tie tong wena tong wena kintimi pa kwa ati youngsters karashala kwa timi paida black angels mitu mnyangu ngoma ber ngaini chwa muke na bongo makuwar kuma chol utia timi pachu eni kipa kwa ati youngsters while Tom Mukena Bongo Matar Kumachol, Uti Aweti Menike Pai the Black Angels Kawani, Wanena Pakwat Young Stars who Ketu Mokineti, NK Lina Washi Ever Offside, Nina Kawani Pakwat, Uti Aku Yellow Kara Children to make him a tech map with the Gold Mikim Loyzo, Mugo Gold Maling, Magitu Kumpera Kuakisa Giants, NK Jalma Gilong, Nema Manjate Mongo Dakisa Joseph, Uti Aku Yellow Card already, Joel, Ushungu, you will free kick Pai the Black Angels. Let's wait and see what exactly that will be Modi P. Mitakin sitting at Kiri West Nile Television. I am in Savo with Maria and the Minnesha number Mudriki, the number of that number. I take a scalid in Arabic or to the Joel Jacobin Bea Vanda Pradi Timba, who takes one of the Dupra Canada, Black Spaw and Iran, and Vivin Mopira, the Timberon Ve, Ateda Mane, the Adams Mati Rizzo. Let's see what it is. I need to cross it before we clear. Ah, you are seeing a little while. The referee says there's no foul. And it's a goal kick. Ten minutes gone. 0-0 zero, zero between the two teams, Pakwachi Youngsters and Pai the Black Angels. Of course, that is how the situation is in here in Pukwacha. So far, so good. The two teams are trying to push in so hard, of course. One player on the attack, Pai the Black Angels, setting a long dagger in. Can he get something? No way, defender clears his line. Throw in for team Pai the. It's a goal kick. Oh yeah, it's a goal kick for Pakwachi youngsters. Everybody says, guys, let's calm down and play the game simple. Because uh, if you mess up with me, I'll mess up with you because I'm in charge of this game. And I have all the cards with me. There is no blue card yet. We're only having yellow and the red one. But of course, a yellow has been dished already to one player of youngster. Let's wait and see how this is going to roll up to that time of 90+. plus. It's already a uh, goal, uh, ball to throw, and uh, right there on the touchline, you can see what exactly is happening. Not a good impression. At the two sides are still uh, in a high intensity of game. Throws it longer, trying to look into where he can get. And now Pakwachi Youngstar trying to deliver on their yard into the midfield, playing one tiki taka. Sends it wide at the defender, looking for where exactly he can get. Uh, but the ball goes uh, in, backing. It's a throw in for team Paiva Black Angels. 
coming into this game are the home side in Pakwaj youngsters that came in this game of course with only 38 points actually 39 points while the team by the black angels coming into this game with the 41 points meaning this game is still not done of course until it's done remember this is a clash between number one and, and number two exactly of course Pakwaj has been on top of the team uh, of the table or the log in the Jagat zone uh, trying to penetrate every day now and uh, that is still what they are doing uh, but uh, we are waiting to see can they go on top once again remember they will be playing Pajule Lions uh, in uh, the Uganda Cup they are the only West Nile team that is doing well in two that is uh, and then you got in the car park right there. We did see on the Braca didn't travel. You did see the team of uh, Rua Hill being ejected. Uh, of course, uh, that is another thing. You did see also a couple of teams uh, from West Nile. They are doing well. They beat Wakiso Giants. They went to beat Dab and they are through. Gee, that is uh, the game uh, that you need to know. I'm talking about the Uganda Cup. That is uh, already quarterfinals. Throw in for PBA in the half of the youngsters. Long ball in can they get through. It is a safe. Of course, Good the goalkeeper self. says that's an easy one for me. I can grab that very well. Remember, last season in the regional league playoffs, that has been the player who went with a golden glove as the best goalkeeper of the league. And of course, that is none other than Jackie Saronal, the formerly of Nebi Central. It's a throw in right there, and you're getting this live on what's now television. The only hybrid television in the region that will always be giving you the best and uh, we always uh, give you the worst uh, regional league that you need to know and it's so interesting a throw in yet again loving the english bit of it from my brother Ewashenia, the only hybrid television meaning television makuopari yot makume yot olayoza okay west nile tv all right that's where you can get and for those there uh, who are following the tv you can always be right there we're located at the weather hit back lane in avua city the center of the city of the region and of course you can say uh the, 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 the city that deserves a lot right there so you can always come for business and do with us whether you want it during these games or the other we shall still be giving you a couple of games on our list that we shall be broadcasting for you going to moya jumani and of course arua right there to leave for me what a chance taken away now pys i'm talking about park watch youngsters trying to penetrate delivering one or two but things are not working before he says it's a throw in for the team of uh, Paida black angels talking about a pys that is the home side of quite young stars while the pba it is a pie that the blacks of course all the way from zumbo district to here in a Pukwaja district these are two different districts and of course the two different teams with all the different aspirations let's wait and see among them or between the two which one will make it into the playoffs remember the business is not done from the playoff until it's done when exactly. you're facing the giant from the northern part exactly of the now they are the goalkeeper i've loved the way he's doing it uh the Pokwachi youngster he's so confident on the ball very confident and uh a very very big goalkeeper to say in the future now there is delivery Pokwachi trying to go but by the blockage is saying no way like you say by the black angels are saying no way Pokwachi to are saying a banner and of course the game is moving tough and easy here at uh, Omach Playground. It is Pakwach zero. By the Black Angels zero. Alright, uh, still Pakwachi trying to deliver sends the ball right there in the good signal. By the good gets back. Back in again to Pakwachi Youngster. Shot number 17. Trying to penetrate into the yard, but not way through. He hits it away. The two uh, collision turning and twisting shot 17. Uh, intercepted uh, by shot number 28. George Ayembe. The center is longer. And this is the Paida where Gaddafi Gadino is. I'm not yet seeing him. I don't know whether he's in the game. I said Soga, youngster, the home team, the eleven or the 12th player is doing well into their side because they are making the crowd cheering in there. Long, trying to get the ball. Sends again at the other side. Turning and twisting. Paida trying to recover. And still they recover. Interception. Now going forward is the Black Angels. Turning and twisting. Sends into the midfield. Joel Jagayembe. Joel Jagayembe strikes in there. Trying to set the referee says. It is an offside. That has been given right there. 16 minutes gone. 
zero zero at Omach Grounds. Remember, a Joe Jangyambe Uti one danger man in the team, and of course, he's been in the game for quite some time. One of the experienced player in this pitch, of course, like he said earlier, Joel to compare teams such as the Blacks. That is uh, in Lira, talking about Black's power. He played for Calvary, played for Nduparaka, even played for the national team under 17. He played for Navy Central. So Joel is one experienced player in this pitch. He's been in the Premier League, Big League, and now the former League. player over Paida now sent a for the He's now with Lira. What can they do? It's an offside. He's, a, he's new it and left it. And this shot number 23, turning and twisting, is Ayo, the captain of the team. Wherever he came from, referee says a foul. Referee says it's a foul. Shot number five. Pay the Black Angels is down. Shot and number five. This game is not just going to get easy because the two teams are all fighting a tooth and nail to get it moving forward. A lot of steppings, a lot of uh, fouls because uh, it is still 70 minutes but the game high intensity right there. The team doctors have been called to rescue and indeed that's what they are doing uh, right now in there and uh, it is treatment moment. Obeyed Mott David is the player down for treatment and of course the Sims is in too much pain and that is what happens when the game gets tougher the going also gets never easy of course two more in goal for BBA of course that is one player who has been for by the Black Angels for quite some time and the same with the one of quite youngsters from Super Eagle to Navy Central from Navy Central to Pakwach Youngstars, these guys are just rotating around home. Exactly, and it's home affairs, and which makes it, of course, so interesting for them. I love only one thing that uh, they should be always doing. Uh, very many times uh, you see uh, the players from, uh, let's say, the Lulu sub-region, they don't uh, fit, uh, they don't feel good playing out of that is the region, I mean, the sub-region right there, which makes them, uh, of course, I feel they are always affected because of one or two things uh, they can't settle. You play one game, you go back home. You play another game, you go back home. So it, it keeps affecting a lot, a lot in there. But of course, a lot of things that I can give you. Before we get to that, uh, the team of, uh, that is, uh, Pakwachi Youngsters has a lot of, remember, previously they played Nebi Central 0-0. They did beat Nyahama at their own home in Nyahama's ground. Uh, by, of course, uh, that is uh, two goals uh, to zero. They had a rural city that they beat five at Greenlight Stadium, the home of Nduparaka, where of course uh, uh, a rural city plays its game and uh, played against us. Uh, Super Eagles, the Pakwachi Super Eagles. It was a derby, 0-0 zero, zero right there. Ball taken long, uh, trying to get uh, through for the Black Angels, but still things not working their way. Now it's turning interesting. This is uh, the team of... Uh, Pakwach trying to defend. You would see that maybe has uh, I mean by the Black Angels has dominated so much of the game so far. And leaving out of course uh, the team not doing it well. Listen to the crowd. Listen to that happiness. It is really a very very tight one. Wow. Because the song trending in the background is uh, they are saying by the Nyayo Luorungo meaning Paiva cannot give any scare for young stars <laughs> that is what they're saying in the background i've loved the way Dan danto presses shot number five he's down referee says play on games of man sends in there he gives an advantage but of course gets it back after <laughs> the team was trying to become so dangerous and the player is still down this is dante right he yeah. is down shot the number same five. player he's been fouled so for four times and of course, well known by the players of Youngsters, he's been a former player of Look Super Look at what Eagles. the fourth official is saying. I mean the match commissioner commenting into by the way, warning the coach of by the Black Angels. <laughs> and see the tension in between Jack and Young Bear. And for you and the touch line. He's saying no way. No way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Owen. I said it before, this game is going to be very tough up to the end. 20 minutes, but the intensity of the game looks too very high, much. Too high. <laughs> what is the bubbling with the other coach? Taking a go bench, overtaking a go bench. But of course, West Nile team is here for you. Everything is going to end in a sweet way. Just watch the game. 21 minutes played. It is still goalless here at Bar Omach. Let's wait and see. It's a throw in for that is the Papachi Youngster team. 21 minutes. Fans already chaotic. 